Hello everyone, uh, long time no see. Uh, I am going to uh, do a video now that's going to look at uh, Xbox 360 releases. Um, over the last few months I've been kind of focusing on the uh, kind of like, yeah, just PlayStation collection really. But uh, whilst that's been going on, I have been picking up uh, quite a few Xbox titles. Uh, still my favourite console, <laughs> no doubt about it, but as I say, the uh, the focus of my collecting has been on the on the PlayStation recently, kind of fallen back in love with that, you know, with those consoles really. Um, but I've got eight games here to show you. Probably got a f quite a few more Xbox games to show you. Got quite a few limited editions as well, which I'll uh, I'll show in a future video. But um, yeah, some just kind of real bread and butter games really that I've got here. Okay, first game I'm going to show you is. Um, Let's see if I can spell this right. Onech, Onechibara, Bikini Samurai Squad. So there we go. I picked that up for a crispy fiver. Uh, not a bad, not bad condition. In fact, it's a pretty good condition uh, for a fiver. Uh, well, I wanted for a while, but again, don't want to spend very much money on it because I've I heard it was, it was quite shit. Um, Strange, there's been a new game announced in the series recently, and it actually the production values in the game look quite good, and looks like it could be quite a good, yeah, quite quite a good entry into this series. But yeah, this game could have actually been done quite easily in the Xbox 360. Really ropey graphics, gameplay is quite kind of slash them up. Uh, I'd say something like even Bullet Witch is probably, you know, better executed than this. But the, I mean, the game's got a certain amount of charm. Lots of like, you know, scantily clad anime girl, uh, girls in it, so it's just like it's all right. Uh, next game I'm going to show you game I picked up in uh, sale uh, for a fiver. Big fan of the kind of, of the rock band series, and it's uh, ACDC Live. Uh, I believe that this was actually uh, it was downloadable content, and they released it in a in a physical disc format as well. Um, but I believe it's like you know, um, eighteen cla eighteen tracks from the from the album that ties in with this. Uh, big ACDC fan, so uh, and and it's rock band, so it's cool. <laughs> what more can I say? Great music. Okay, but I've been playing quite a lot of another game in the Dynasty Warriors universe, but I'll get onto that at some point in the future. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Uh, saw some gameplay for the third one recently, and it looks like a you know it looks amazing. It looks like a a, a proper anime. Um, this is more like a Dynasty Warriors game than than Dynasty. This is more like a traditional Dynasty Warriors game. Let me rephrase that. Um, I get the impression that Dynasty Warriors Three is a bit of a departure. I played some of this. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I think if you're a fan of this series, you'll really, really love this. I like Dynasty Warriors, and it does things a little bit different. But again, this is another game that could have, that, you know, that could have come out on the uh, on the Xbox. And apparently, a, a version this came out in Japan on the PS2. So I mean, it kind of shows you how kind of, yeah, how it doesn't really push the 360 very much. It probably one of the release games for. the or one of the early games for the console. Um, I can't see a date on here. 2007, so yeah, it's knocking on a bit, but you know, I think I paid a five for that. And in fact, I think I paid less on the, on the you know an online bid. Not bad, Nick. One that I'm just gonna I'm gonna play through. It's in it's it's to access the second and the third one really. Uh, Right, this is a game I've been after for a long, long time. Big fan of the series. This is the only one that I think only came out on a non-PlayStation console. Uh, Ace Combat 6, Fires of Liberation. One of those ones that holds its price really, really well. Uh, managed to pick this copy up for around about tenner. Uh, not bad condition. It's, there's a little bit of wear in the corner here, but you know I can live with that. The manual and the disc are fine. Uh, Technical tour de force. These games always look up awesome on whatever system they're actually on. This is no exception. Uh, 
some of the replays on this are absolutely stunning. So I'm looking forward to uh, to playing this uh, quite a bit more. To me, it's considered an arcade uh, kind of flight sim. As the series has progressed and progressed and progressed, it's got more and more sophisticated, and I think this is probably one of the more kind of technical ace combat games. I have heard that the new one has gone back to its arcade roots, which I wholeheartedly embrace. But from what I can tell about this, it's got a few of the old kind of mad super planes in there that are kind of you know that the series is well known for games that don't uh, sorry planes that don't actually exist in the real world, but they you know the Namco normally do a good job of designing a, some kind of wacky plane in there. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing this actually. And as you can tell, <laughs> one that I'm really, really pleased to get in the collection. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talk I talked earlier about these games being bread and butter games, but there's some bloody good games in this pile. Next one I'm going to show you is uh, L.A. Noir. Again, picked a brand new copy of this, really cheap. I think it was about 20 quid. Um, original release one as well, got this nice little embossed cover. Huge departure for Rockstar. You get a glimpse of the future, I think, of the Grand Theft series with this game. Because technically, it's something, you know, head and shoulders above quite a few free Roman games out there. Really, really, really nice storyline. Um, you do feel like you're almost in that kind of like uh, era of, you know, era of Ameri American time. Um, if you like your hard boiled kind of detective stories, um, it's a proper gumshoe, L.A. Noir type storyline to it, really sophisticated, uh, really quite the investigation as well, it's a huge part of the game, it's not just shooting, um, and yeah, as I said, the, the kind of like the way that the um, the character models are designed, just the kind of portrayal of emotions, really, really quite stunning. Um, so yeah, welcome edition. Xbox 360 version comes on three discs. I have actually heard that the PS3 version is the superior version to go for, uh, so it might be something to, to consider when you purchase it yourself. Wow. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Pick this one up for 15 quid. Absolutely brilliant Castlevania. Uh, possibly the kind of, yeah, the first 3D Castlevania that actually works really, really well. Loads of weapons. You know, power ups, uh, engaging storyline, awesome music, which the series always has got. Absolutely brilliant game. Got something quite special to show you in another video um, related to this. Uh, but I'd highly recommend it. You can do some right deals on this. I've seen this for 12 quid. Um, if you're Castlevania fan, get it. Uh, I think the artwork's not bad in this either, as well. Going you know, if, the way that Konami always make that little bit of effort, uh, yeah, really nice full colour manual, that's what you want really, <laughs> with nice art working. So yeah, one to consider, another Xbox game that comes on more than one disc, this is two disc version, you've seen that with a lot of the uh, the games coming out now, um, for the 360, it's getting like the uh, the PC market was where, you know, games coming out on multiple formats. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this already or not, but I will um, I will show you it anyway. Um, bought this recently off my friend. It's Crisis 2 Limited Edition. He was going to trade it in, so I just thought, well, that might as well, you know, I'll, I'll give you some money for it. You'll get more than you'll get for trading. Um, and it's Crisis 2. Played this through. Graphically amazing. Multiplayer is great as well. Single player storyline continues, you know, from from the original. Never played the original, but it, you know, you don't need to have played the original to play this. Um, the 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 bio suit in the games, you know, fantastically implemented, um, and I just enjoyed. I've just enjoyed, enjoyed playing it through. My my friend played it through multiple times just because he thought it was that good, and basically, you know, he's played it to death, so uh, he didn't mind uh, selling it to me. But. Um, Interesting news! They recently announced that they're going to release the the original on the uh, on on Xbox Live, which 
I've looked forward to playing through because I've always wanted to play it but never had a PC with a grunt really to do it any justice. So um, looking forward to playing that. And last but not least is the game that I'm going to put some gameplay footage of on the end. And it's, uh, there we've got Split Second Velocity. Always a game I quite fancied. I'm, I'm not hugely into my racing games, but if I do buy a racing game, it's generally um, the arcade racers that I like. Huge Burnout fan. Um, this seems to have gone down the road that Burnout used to go down. Um, wherein, uh, you know, completely arcadey over the top. You'll, you'll see in the gameplay footage, the game looks kind of, looks slightly gritty, it's realistic, but just, you can trigger massive explosions um, in the game. Doing drifts, adds a bit of strategy, kind of like, you know, you by doing drifts, by tailgating, by near misses, you get kind of, you get more, um, more energy in your energy bar, and you can set off some just ridiculous kind of explosions, you know, cost changes, um, that kind of thing really. Something that only next gen console could have done really. Uh, but great great game. And it was only it was only ten pounds. Um unfortunately the the company that made this have uh, have, have gone to the wall so we we'll probably will never see a sequel to it. But it's a great arcade action race. I really really enjoyed playing that. I played it quite a lot actually. Um yeah, I think that's probably an indication of how long it's been since I've uh, since I've done the 360 uh, video because a couple of these games I've played through. Yeah, a couple of these games I've pulled played fully through. You know, so yeah, I do, I do play games a lot, but you know, not that much. <laughs> so um, that's it for this video, and um, thank you all for watching. And I will uh, see you in the next video. See you later. Goodbye.